Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Force Feed for this Wednesday, June 13th. In today's gaming news, we learned some of the many new features coming in Assassin's Creed 3, Nintendo plans to remake either A Link to the Past or Majora's Mask, the Wii U supports free-to-play games, and cheaters in Max Payne 3 are forced to play with their kind. In a video released earlier today, we learned more about the new gameplay features coming in Assassin's Creed 3. In this 7 minute gameplay walkthrough, Ubisoft's creative lead Alex Hutchinson discusses the new additions coming to the franchise. Some of these improvements include advanced tree navigation, stalking zones, new weapons, a wide variety of animals, and multiple seasons for every zone. To learn more about the new features coming in Assassin's Creed 3, follow the link in the video description below. I know people like to rip on this franchise, but I've got to be honest, this game looks pretty solid. And is it wrong that I'm most excited about the tree navigation? I am a primate after all. <laughs> Nintendo is currently in the tough position of deciding whether or not to remake A Link from the Past or Majora's Mask. In an interview with IGN, Shigeru Miyamoto said, We haven't quite decided yet whether we're going to do A Link to the Past because there's also the possibility of doing a remake of Majora's Mask. The company is currently in the position due to their goals of both expanding the 3DS audience and building up a library for the upcoming Wii U. Personally, I'd be happy with either, but what do you guys think? Should Nintendo work on A Link to the Past or Majora's Mask? Or should they do neither and work on a new Zelda title instead? Looks like League of Legends will be coming to the Wii U. Okay, not really. But their new console will be supporting free-to-play games. Speaking of the Wii U, during an investor Q&A held at E3, Nintendo's president said, We have designed the system from a technical standpoint to allow developers to freely take advantage of things like free-to-play and microtransactions. He went on to say that although Nintendo won't be pursuing free-to-play anytime soon, they're leaving the option open for the future. It is pretty neat that the Wii U will be supporting free-to-play, although I'm a little bit baffled that Nintendo won't be pursuing it themselves and are just leaving the option there for third parties. Can anyone say a free-to-play MMO for Pokemon? Pretty sure that would dominate the console. If you're thinking about cheating in Max Payne 3's multiplayer, get ready to be lumped up into a group with your fellow low-life peers. Rockstar announced today that anyone caught cheating in Max Payne 3's multiplayer will be quarantined from all other players into a cheater's pool, where they'll only be able to compete in multiplayer matches with other confirmed miscreants. To help expedite the process, Rockstar has asked players to help notify them of suspected cheaters. This is absolutely perfect! The perfect response for people trying to get an unfair advantage. Group them up with other people trying to get an unfair advantage. As such, even the playing field. In fact, since they cheated in the first place, they probably suck. They should make these matches available for public view, so we can all laugh at them. Alright guys, that'll do it for today's episode of the Force Feed. Be sure to like and favorite the video and tune in tomorrow. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. Dear Rockstar, I applaud you for such an awesome idea. I'm going to reward you by giving you a few suggestions for your cheater's pool. You could call it Scrub's Corner, Unfair Flamers, Cheating Chumps, Dishonest Douches, 